Hey, it's Aurelius. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an online course using Canva. In fact, Canva has got a feature that allows you to lay out your online course just like Kifik and other learning management systems. There are limitations, I will note that, although I will run through some of the pros and cons in this video. So let me show you exactly how it works. All right, so what you're looking at is what the learner sees. I just put in a few example demo articles here. Uh, we've got, you know, the introduction of what they'll learn, a lesson, things are on the left side. You can add your modules and lessons all right here. And what you can also do is add other documents, attachments, as you can see right here, you can upload your files. You can essentially create any design you want that is within Canva, all right? In order to even create such a thing first, you need to be able to create a new project and find the course option. The course option is rather difficult to find in my opinion. They don't really show it right away. You may stumble upon it, but what you need to do is click on create a design. And then what you need to do, usually it's for you. And then you will need to kind of search through all of this, which it will recommend. But I found it by going to more and then you can see under popular course all right this is a specific option okay don't mistaken uh course if you search up course it won't actually show here it would only show templates that you can make on canva so rather than doing that search option simply search it under popular uh, it could be under another category here if i'm not wrong but this is how i've been able to find it by clicking on course and then it'll create the course functionalities and integrate it all in one you first need to create your course name okay i've created mine i've called it photography 101 in this example and then you can move on to adding your activities okay the first thing you can do is describe it describe what your course is about and then move on to adding all of your modules which is as simple as adding an activity to your course so for instance you could add an introduction like i did let me go and show you exactly how you can add a new activity which they call and this is also known as a lesson of your course so click that once we're going to create new and from the list you can choose one based on the format that you like to present in your course choose a custom size or whatever but i simply select doc however you can choose whatever you like if it's simply a video that you want to share that for instance you want to upload onto canva then you can do so and then it will make sure that it's the right dimensions but in this case we're just going to choose doc and this already looks familiar right this is a canva canvas although i'm in the learner view and i'll go to back okay now we're in the editor mode and we can do something like lesson uh, two since i've already created lesson one and then format away use whatever fonts you like based on your brand use your styling guide all here add your elements and other kind of media as well you can upload your images you can upload your videos integrate it add it all into there use your charts whatever you'd like to make things easier you could even use magic write the ai writing assistant that's built into canva so that you can help and assist you with writing your lessons but once you're done all you need to do is head back and then you'll be shown the structure once more to view your course as a learner you'll see back here we can click on view as learner and this is the interface that they'll kind of see right on the left and they can see the progress bar and once they complete a particular lesson they can click on next activity and they'll see that it's marked as complete and then they'll move on to the next lesson once you're ready for students to take your course there's an option called assign course now this is a drawback that i see with canva courses and how it's laid out as i mentioned earlier in this video you actually have to create a group let's say cohort uh, two since i've already got one and then i'm going to create the cohort two and if you already have members as part of your canva account you can add them right away otherwise you can invite uh, users so what we're going to do now is head to our account right here the top right and then invite members add their email and emails and then we can send the requests 
Once they are added and they've accepted your invitation, then you can click on assign course and then add those people into that cohort group or whatever group name that is that you've created. It is a manual process. I did try and look at whether you could use something like Zapier to do things like whenever you get a new sale on, let's say Shopify, if you use Shopify, it will automatically add them as a new user. But um, unfortunately, it just doesn't work that way since it's a relatively, let's say, new feature and option. Hopefully there will be an option where you can simply assign the course or have a link that the public can use and they'll be invited to that automatically. But for now, this is the way uh, to do it. Once you have students taking your course, you can head to reporting where you can see the status and their progress uh, depending on where they're at in terms of the course progress. In order to retrieve your online course so that you can go back and edit any lessons and of course your course settings, you can head to projects and then there you'll see folders, open that up and then you'll see your course. One thing I also just stumble upon is you can create a new course by going to projects, then add new, then course. That's a much easier way than going to create a design then finding it under more than under popular the way that i see they could potentially use this and if it's actually right for you is if you want to start using a platform that is free where you don't actually get charged for hosting your own online course and if you don't mind adding your students slash customers in manually in order to actually do that you actually need your own uh, like online selling platform let's say you use shopify or you could use Gumroad or whatever you want. And then once you get that sale, you can grab their email and then invite them that way with instructions on what they need to do on their end in order to accept your invitation so that they can actually take your course. This could also work if you have an internal team that you work with and you wanna share an online course or whatever it may be with your actual team members. Also, I see this as something useful if you are familiar with the way that Canva works and you're familiar with how to design things in Canva, how to create docs in Canva. This makes it easy. As you saw, if you create a new activity, you create a new design and then away you go. But other than that, I do have quite a number of videos on creating online courses and other online course platforms that you could use. So I'll link them in the description box below if you wanna learn more. In the meantime, hope this helps. And if it did, let me know by giving this video a quick thumbs up. Comment your thoughts on Canva courses, whether this is something you could potentially use. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.